Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this game right here, The Goonies Never Say Die. This is a game by uh, Funko Games. It is a Target exclusive. It's kind of upside down, so let me turn it around there for you. Uh, it says that it's for ages 12 plus. It's two to five players. Plays in roughly about 50 minutes. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this yet. All I know is that it's kind of like uh, horrified in a sense, except for it's a one versus many. Uh, so it's supposed to be like you are the Goonies trying to get to One-Eyed Willie's treasure while the Fratellis are chasing after you. And there's obviously going to be some booby traps because you're going up against the One-Eyed Willie himself. So uh, before we get into this though, I do want to remind you that we are having a contest until uh, August 1st for Fallout, the board game by Fantasy Flight Games. That is an unboxed game, so I've opened it, I've shown components, never punched them all, and I've never played it. Uh, that will be announced to one lucky subscriber on August 1st. All you got to do is be a subscriber and then email me at christianadventuregamer at gmail.com. In the subject line, go ahead and put minions. And in the body of the message, go ahead and put your name and contact information. If you're looking for ways to connect with us, you can connect with us on Twitter and Facebook. Also, we started up on Patreon. And if you're looking for ways to help support us, go to our Patreon page. There will be a link in the description below. If you do become a patron, you will get monthly entries into giveaway. So right now, uh, you can go and vote on various items that we're giving away. We're looking at giving away a small game called Bugs, possibly some dice, or even the two packs of the newest set of Magic the Gathering, which I believe is the Forgotten Realm set that just released. And so, if you want to support us, go check that out. But let's get down to the table and see what comes in this awesome, heavy little box. Alright, so I got the box right here on the table. Go ahead and flip this over. They got their traditional sticker tape thing on here. Uh, since they don't ever wrap these in plastic, they just put this tape on there. So what I usually do is try to peel off at least the sides, uh, pull, pull the box out, and then just fold in the tape on the sides of the top lid. That way you don't have to worry about uh, stickiness or damaging any of the art or text on the backs of the box itself. Um, also, I want to let you know that my plans, my intentions, are to play this game live on my channel while watching The Goonies in Blu-ray. And so I actually got this game for my birthday a couple days ago. My birthday is actually tomorrow, July 21st, so uh, thank you for saying happy birthday to me. Uh, and if you are a subscriber, I wanted to let you know that I am planning to go to my church, and they've uh, allowed me to have a... A board game day there for my birthday and they allowed me to um, live stream some of my gameplays and so pay uh, pay attention on July 4th or July 24th uh, I'll be live streaming gameplays from the room which is the church I go to in Warsaw Indiana uh, and if you are happen to be on I'd love to love to shout out to you and say thank you for watching so let me know you're watching but I almost got this open there we go so this is another Prospero Hall game, so they are really kicking them out there, man, like, and their games are actually really good, like, I think they take a lot of time in designing the games, they're not just thrown together. So, the tape is what's really killing it here. Alright, so let's just do this. There we go, I'm going to fold that tape in, like so. Mmm, I love that new game smell. Whew, look at the inside of the box there, man. That is awesome. Treasures and different things from the movie. We got keys, slingshot, one of Willy, the, the, the stretchy spring bands, firecrackers, uh, Amy's jacket. I think, I think that's what her name was, Amy. Uh, yep, alright, so here we go. Says, don't you realize the next time you see Sky, it'll be over another town. The next time you take a test, it'll be in some other school. Our parents, they want the best of stuff for us. But right now, they got to do what's right for them. Because, because it's their time. Their time up there, down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. Mike, Mikey, Walsh. So I'm guessing this is the board here. Let's open that up. So I'm liking what I'm seeing already. It's one of my favorite movies as a kid. The Goodies. Alright. Get rid of that over there for now. 
Uh, ooh. It's like a whole picture there. Of Mikey's house. Should have had uh, all the kids sitting on the porch or something. Nope. Uh, there's the bike. Ooh, there's the map. So you go into these different chambers. You can see little doorways here. And it, it looks like an old map. Like the artwork style is just, it looks tattered, you know, kind of. It says Goondock Master. Well, that's cool. Um, what's this? Oh, this is like the a GM screen. So the Game Master screen. Ooh, look at that. It looks like the One Eyed Willie's map. Yeah, I'm loving the theme. Loving this so far. I love the pictures. I love the information on it. GM round, token references, uh, Goonie round. So everything's right there for the game master to run the game. I'm loving that so far. Ooh, there's the adventure guide. So I'm going to flip through it a little bit, but I don't want to give out too many spoilers. Some notes there for your team. Looks like you can possibly even create your own little adventure there. Create yes, it's create your own Goonie adventures. Might have to do that. So that's nice. I love that. There's a lot of good information there I can tell already. Man, I'm excited to get this to the table. The instructions. All right, so now I can actually show you a little more of this. So it gives all the components list, talks about what they are, uh, setup. So it uh, looks like it's really thought out. It's got one through 17. Uh, it looks like they're taking their time with the instructions. So I can't wait to go through it to make sure there's no errors or things that are going to be confusing. So that's one thing I look look at when I go through rules. Winning the game. So, it's not too long of a rule book. There's some tokens. I'll look at those in a second. Ooh, here are the miniatures. So, let me zoom in on these here so you can get a better look. First up, we have this octopus right here. Uh, I have no clue why there's an octopus uh, in the game because I don't remember one in the movies. So, but there's the octopus. Uh, this looks like it's supposed to be One-Eyed Willie because it's got a skeleton pirate with a badge over his eye. Uh, so there. And then we have Mouth. Looks like Mouth combing his hair. Right? Uh, who would this be? Mikey. Mikey holding the map. Uh, I think they should have had him in yellow, but uh, no uh, no matter, I'll paint these guys anyways. They feel really light plastic. We have Sloth, and he looks, you know, two character. Uh, he's going to be fun to paint. I'm going to paint a Superman on his chest. That's what my plans to do. I like the bases. I like the way the bases look like they're all on rock, but they're very, very flimsy. Um, here we go. Two more. Uh, data here. He's got his backpack. He's got his uh, trusty uh, accessory belt. Uh, and then I can't remember this one's name. I have to look that up. Uh, he's the one, Chunk. That's it. Chunk doing the truffle shuffle. He's actually uh, wearing the pirate hat, which he doesn't wear until the very end of the movie. Uh, again, flimsy, light, but a lot of detail there. Then here is the Fratelli's uh, mom and the two sons. Right there, chasing after the kids, obviously. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the dice. They got red dice, blue dice, and green dice, looks like, and they're different sided. So these are six sided. These are eight sided here. Uh, what else they got? They got 12 sided? Yeah, 12 sided, I like that. So they have different uh, skulls and crossbones and bones, blank spots. Not sure what those all mean, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm guessing the skulls can't be good. Uh, six sided. Looks like there are four sides that have something, two are blank, three bones, one skull. The eight sided, there is one, two. Oops. So it looks like only two blank sides. So one, two blank sides. They got one skull, one, two bones, three bones. And then two crossbones, and the 12 sided have one blank side, two, two blank sides. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, possibly five bones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six bones, and then two, three double bones. So I mean, that's nice. I like the way they look. Look like candy, and they feel really lightweight. They are obviously plastic, nothing special there. 
Uh, it gives you some bases. So prior to the standees, so we'll take a look at those in a moment when I unpunch those. Uh, let's look at these hero boards here. I'll try to get through these pretty quickly. There we go, there we go. Alright, we got Mikey. He's got his health, his uh, wishes. Uh, looks like these are the um, attributes, right? So we got strength, dexterity, a search. Uh, he's got some special abilities there. What's the backside of it look like? The Goonies never say die. Okay. And then we have uh, mouth. So jerk alert. Obviously, again, a couple powers, attributes, health, and wishes. We have a chunk here. Uh, obviously, artwork is there. Towards the end of the movie. So that's cool. I really like these so far. And I hope they come out with an expansion for this game because I'd like to get, like, I'd like to see uh, Mikey's older brother and um, the two girls in here. So there's Data, Sloth, and there's the Fratellis, and there's One Eyed Willy. Uh, and there, and there's the giant octopus, which I have no clue why there's a giant octopus in this. All right, and there's some cards in here, a few bags. Uh, there's an insert in the box. It's not that great. Probably be fine without it. But there's more, uh, like artwork inside the box that represents the movie. So we have riddle cards. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I love it. They have inside this. Um, Little stack of cards. There's a pool tab if I can find it. So I don't have to like dig for into plastic and ruin cards. That should be standard to the hobby at this point. I think I got it. If I can get it. There we go. Well, I thought I had it. There we go. Yeah, I did. We go. So we have riddle cards. We got riddle three. Looks like there's some damage on it. Oh well. Riddle three. Silent be the crow's nest. Leave the bones to rest. Oh, so they, obviously there's lots of riddles in uh, the movie, right? For that one-eyed Willie leaves. So I'm not gonna expose any more of those because I don't want to give anything away. We got treasure cards. We have roller skates. Uh, I'm not sure why those would be in there. We have a boarding axe. We have a pirate's buckler. Uh, navigator's com compass. So lots of different treasures. I like the artwork in there. It looks like old. Right? Uh, we have some items. So item cards. Candy bar. Obviously, Sloth likes candy bars. My wish. The quarters, right? Uh, we have rock and tunes. Listen to some music. Uh, some more rock and tunes. And what else the guy here? Um, we got a Merfolk Warrior. So what are these? Like monsters or something? Huh. Merfolk Warrior, Skeleton bomb, uh, Bombardier, Bat Swarms. So obviously they, they did encounter the bats. Oh, there's here is Andy. Yeah, Andy's her name. Not Angie. Andy. So that was one of the girls. Uh, Andy flip face down to add a green die to any dexterity check. That's cool. Uh, teenagers Andy, teenagers uh, Brand, Brand flip uh, flip face down. So uh, Brand, there's mouth. So they each have different cards. Here, Data has special cards. So that's definitely cool. All right. So let's see what some of these other cards are. Steph. Uh, again, there are uh, there is a seal here that I get pull tab. I like that. Go. All right, so we got Goonies round start. So we got player aids. I love player aids. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Funko, for putting these player aids in there. That's going to help my players play their play the game. So I may, if I can figure this out, I may even live stream playing this at the church. Who knows? Who knows? Or I might just wait until I'm home and then play it while I can watch Goonies in the background. Player aids, uh, falling boulders, GM turn. So let's see here, GM. So these are all GM cards. So I don't want to give out too many of these because I don't want you guys to know what's coming. So, uh, but we have submerged here. 
Obviously, we have the GM turn, what's going to happen, the react, things like that. I love the artwork, so I'm not going to show any more. Uh, but I'm going to back up the camera a little bit and show you what's on these punch uh, tiles. So, kind of scoot some of this stuff out of the way. Open this up. Lots and lots of tokens. That's going to be awesome. Uh, I like the idea of the sand. Uh, sands of time. So like the hourglass. Here. All right. So let's do the punch test first. Ooh, that's pretty easy. That fell out pretty easy. Look at that. Uh, trapped. We got trap tokens. We have the wish. Looks like quarters, right? So I'm assuming those are wishes. We have the monsters here. So we have a uh, skeleton crew here. So you can see them. Uh, so that's what these are for, the standee bases. So that's cool. It'd be nice if it came with more miniatures, but um, I like I like what I'm seeing. So uh, nothing wrong with that. I got skeleton tokens, question mark tokens, stunned tokens. Move that over there. I'll go ahead and punch these out off camera and put those away. But we have different uh, tiles. Looks like you're going to put on the map to change the room possibly. So that's cool. Some bridges look like they're about ready to give way. Some narrow passages, uh, some passages that are webbed. Yeah, webbed. So I like some spider webs in there. Exits, entrances. Uh, I'm guessing these are damage tokens here. They represent damage, so another entrance. So like that. Ooh, big, big treasure there. Way to go, Willie. Um, spike trap. Ooh, did all of that. Some giant rats. Some more monsters I have to fight here. So that's cool. Um, this must be the sand for this, the hourglass because it looks like sand. All right, uh, I got plenty more monsters. Some looks like treasure of some sort here. Uh, skeleton bones. I'm not sure what these are. Looks like they represent some kind of strength test because I see someone flexing their arm. Uh, pirate ghost. So that's scary. So they're adding some things that weren't in the movie, but you know I'm okay with that as long as the theming is there and it's all pirate related. So I can't ask for more. So hey, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Again, connect with us on Twitter, on Facebook. We'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to see you. I'd uh, like to see you participate with us in conversations. Uh, get involved. Help us get involved too. And then if you feel like supporting us, check out Patreon. And again, remember, I'm going to be doing a live stream at my church this Saturday, July 24th. So hope to see you guys there. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.